a very good day to all my dear friends welcome back to my channel today's recipe is dahi bangan which we are going to cook with these small baby brinjals they are also known as eggplants or aubergines tiny ones are looking so cute isn't it whenever i find these in the market i pick them up because they are so nice to make them stuffed and shallow fry them also or you can make curry or you can even make fritters i had made fritters some time back by stuffing them with chutney and fried them in the batter you can check out that recipe as well i will share the link with you and today's curry also dahi bangan curry is awesomely delicious because these are slow cooked with yogurt and spices and all the flavors are incorporated into the brinjals and if you are serving with rice you can have it more gravy form you can make more gravy and if you are making a dry version you can serve it with rotis or puris parathas anything so let's get started here are the ingredients we have taken baby brinjals 250 grams they are also known as aubergines or eggplants yogurt 3 tablespoons garlic 5 to 6 cloves ginger 1 inch piece green chilies 2 salt as needed turmeric powder quarter teaspoon onion one medium sized one tomato these are for dry roasting coriander seeds one teaspoon cumin seeds one teaspoon fennel seeds or some half teaspoon dry red chilies two i have broken them into pieces sesame seeds one teaspoon and desiccated coconut 1 tablespoon for tempering we'll require one sprig of curry leaves as a footed or hang 2 pinches mustard seeds 1 teaspoon and oil about 3 tablespoons ingredients list also can be seen in the description box now let's first slit the brinjals take a big bowl of water add some salt in it to immerse the brinjals so that they don't become black make criss cross slits on each brinjal open and check inside sometimes you find worms keep the stem intact after cutting out a small portion the tip of it edge this way you slit all the brinjals and immerse them in the water salt water these baby brinjals are very tender and nice give them a nice mix now cut the other remaining vegetables like ginger garlic onion green chilies and tomato all together we are going to grind them so you can put them in one plate you can increase the quantity of chilies if you like but i added only two because we have red chilies also in the spice mix now this is done transfer them into a chopper and grind them coarsely look at the texture this is how it should be now we are going to dry roast the spices first add the coriander cumin and fennel seeds roast them on medium flame when they change color halfway through add the red chilies and sesame seeds we are adding them later so that they don't change the color red chili should remain nice bright red to give a color to the curry if you add them in the beginning they turn black finally add the desiccated coconut and reduce the flame saute them together until you get a lovely aroma the aroma of roasting spices is really amazing cool them and grind them in a dry grinder or a coffee grinder mm. 
lovely aromatic spice mix you can even grind this and keep it ready for later use in store it in a bottle now whisk yogurt in a larger bowl add the spice mix whisk them well i'm adding little water so this mixture can be set aside now let's begin the cooking process heat oil add the tempering ingredients mustard seeds and asafoetida first and then curry leaves toss them until they crackle now add the ground mixture onion tomato ginger garlic chili mixture you can see the texture now it is little coarser saute it cover it and stir it in between at regular intervals add the turmeric powder and salt to taste stir and now slow cook this mixture until the oil separates few times you can give it a mix with a spatula now dip in the brinjols these get cooked very fast so you don't have to half fry them toss them in the masala cover the lid this way you simmer it and in between keep stirring them so that they get cooked evenly on all the sides keep adjusting the flame between medium and low now you can see the oil has started separating check for the doneness add little water according to the quantity of gravy you require i'm adding less because i want it thicker friends do subscribe to the channel if you have not done so now finally stir in the yogurt mixture after adding yogurt you are not going to cook it a lot just few times you boil it simmer it on medium flame and it will be done baby brinjols get cooked very fast they are tender garnish with coriander leaves and simmer it for half a minute or so check the salt and adjust if required if you want more gravy you can add half cup water it's done curry is ready delicious look at this masala yummy dish it out and enjoy the thicker version can be served with rotis puris parathas and if you want with rice you can have more gravy do give it a try it goes very well in the thali meal so friends stay tuned for the next recipe thank you for watching and check out these videos from the archives as well have a nice day